okay so let us start working with the measures that we have created and let us create some of the charts so first of all i'm going to duplicate this pnl page here because i don't want to spoil my original work so i'll click on this duplicate page and here we have duplicate of pnl and now from this duplicate of pnl i want to delete these cross profit and net profit charts because i will bring in more you know effective visuals using the data i have okay so the sales revenue line let me fix that let me bring that in here let me make it a bigger little bigger for a moment and uh, okay so from this you know we already have the total ftp that we put in here but with that there was a filter of subclass sales so i will remove that filter of subclass sales which means that this visual is no more representing sales so let me close that and uh, now the problem with this total ftp is this is only bringing in the total value for that period this is not specifying that we are talking about sales or cost of sales or gross profit or whatever so i need to get rid of this total ftp and now let us only bring in the measures that we need so i'm bringing in the gross profit and i am bringing in the net profit as well in the same chart and then i need to bring in i want to bring in the sales as well but the problem is we do not have a measure for sales at this moment but never mind you know we can create any measure uh, very quickly so i will just go to my this chart here and i will say let us open the chart of accounts and see the level so the sales was defined at the subclass level right so let me quickly create a measure and i'm going to say that uh, sales for the period so give it a second please and here it should be sales ftp ftp for the period and that is going to be calculate ftp value and subclass should be equals to i'm sorry subclass should be equal to sales and let me recheck subclass equals sales that is fine okay so calculate ftp chart of account subclass should be sales that is okay let me do the formatting for that so let me make it whole number and let me make sure that this is also going to uh, this is also going to tblgl and finally let me also make sure that the value is comma separated because i'm going to use this value at multiple places so i want this to be nicely formatted otherwise i will have to come back and fix the formatting every other time okay so now that the sales ftp has been defined let me go back to my dashboard and i will say let us bring that sales as well so this is here and i want this to be on top so let me do that here towards the top okay so let me do that again let me bring the gross profit down okay so we have sales and we have gross profit and now we also have net profit so this way uh, since we have the measures we have the multiple values and we can bring in multiple values into the chart at the same time we have quickly replicated our sales revenue in fact i should change the title now uh, i have quickly replicated my chart and now multiple things are available at the same time now just to you know check the slicer how it is responding let me do that a usa and it is completely fine uk you can see that in the uk we have made losses you can see the line is going downwards which means we have made losses let me see new zealand that is going very fine and let me see australia because i know there were losses as well and here we can, you can see that even though sales are rising even though the gross profit is okay the your your net profit has a decline even in this phase here so okay i think we can remove the slicer now so this was the first visual that we have created and now we can move to some other creative visuals as well but before that let me do some uh, nice formatting within this one so just if if i can change the you know style of this one so from line chart i'm changing it to area chart this will you know look comparatively nicer and i don't want to see this uh, uh, orange line here i want it to be you know within my theme so i can go here and here in the data color i can change the net profit line to let us say something like very dark blue and i think that is fine if that is different from this one yes it is okay so i think this chart is looking nice on my dashboard so i will fix that here on the top 
and then we can move to the next visuals as well let us do that in the next lecture